building was, is, and always, it's going to be one of the most core values of Fortnite Battle Royale. Despite this, Fortnite's meta changes just like any other game. And because weekly updates means that the meta is changing so frequently, I think it's about time that we take a look at some of the most relevant building techniques that are going to offer you guys a slight edge in Fortnite Chapter 2. Who's ready? What's going on, guys? It's the Motivation Guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm not sure what you're going through right now. If you're struggling in any area of your life, if you're going through any disappointments, any hard times, first of all, keep your head up, be encouraged. And I want you to try something. I want you to walk around just smiling. Just practice smiling because smiling actually helps you be happier. So I want you to be that person. Be that person to encourage people. Be that person to be positive to people. Be that person to just be that inspiration to others, all right? And we're going to see our world change one day at a time. And you're going to be a part of that. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. Posting up vids to inspire you to be not only great in this game, but also in life. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a handful of the most relevant building techniques that you should be incorporating into your play style. I really want to emphasize that these building techniques are meant for Chapter 2 specifically, okay? Meaning that they're more valuable this season than the last season. If you guys are looking to get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to ProGuys.com where you can play with the best players in the world. Sign up for our membership at ProGuys and you're going to get a ton of incredible content from the best pro players like Benji and Mongrel. So, if you want to compete in Fortnite, you have to check out ProGuys.com and be sure to drop a like on this video to show your support because we really appreciate it. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Let's say it all together. That bunch of crunch and let's get this started. All right, guys, so first up on our list is going to be Triangular Tunnels. I know, I know, I'm getting right into it. I'm not playing around in this video. But in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, these low material tunnels got an indirect buff with the release of Chapter 2. You might be asking yourself, hey, like, how can the tunnel get buffed? That's a really good question. <laughs> You're probably thinking, it just doesn't seem possible. Well, believe it or not, reason being because remember I said that the meta is always changing? Yeah, well about that. You guys probably all know at this point, there is practical zero mobility in the game right now. That means you're going to be the one having to rotate everywhere. You won't have a jump to hold your hand anymore and take you from point A to point B anymore. It's all on you. First, let me show you the triangular tunnel first, and then we're going to talk about why it's so important. Okay, so take a look at how the triangle tunnel works. You place a floor below you, then a wall to your side, right? And finally, a stair protecting you from the other side. Now that stair placement is much more important than you might think. If you were to do a regular tunnel, you would need to place a roof and another sidewall instead of just one stair. Okay, so I'm the first one to say, guys, I'm definitely not a math genius. Matter of fact, math was my worst subject. Oh my goodness, I remember fractions. Those gave me nightmares. But that's surely, let me tell you this, saving you guys a good amount of maths. The usual tunnel use is between four and five bills per tile. This tunnel, however, you know, it only uses three bills for each tile that you need cross. And that's pretty low. But the reason why this is so much more important in Chapter 2 than any other season is because of the simple fact that, like I mentioned earlier, there is no rotation items. Since you're going to rotate everything on foot, conserving mats is the name of the game, guys. Specifically looking at in-game, there's no alternative to tunneling. <laughs> it's not like you could just decide not to tunnel. That is unless you want a one-way trip to the lobby. Like I said, I'm not a genius, but if you're going to have to tunnel more using the same amount of mats as last season to do it, woo, there's going to be a problem. If you start using this tunnel method from the get-go, you're going to be less likely to run out of mats and you're setting yourself up for more success, especially in those stacked in-games. While we're on the topic of low mobility, I think now is also a pretty good time to talk about ascended tunneling. Typically, when I need to scale a hill in the end game, I'll usually resort to burning a mobility item. Well, now there is no mobility. Darn. I guess it's time to bust out those builds again, huh? Yeah, I just said darn. That's actually my favorite word. To do the ascending tunnel, start with a double ramp and add walls for protection. If you've ever done high ground retakes, raise your hand if you've done that. Oh, okay, quite a few. Cool, okay. The double ramp is already in your arsenal. So don't get me wrong, okay? This tunnel burns mats like no other. You're using 60 mats for every tile. Man, that's a lot. But considering that it's going to be used to safely rotate an entire squad of four players, man, it is worth it. And also, four people can hold a lot of mats. So don't get stingy with them, okay? Use those extra mats to guarantee safety. Our next technique is going to be about larger bases. You know, like when you post up on a hill or whatever and you like build your cute little bays for you and your teammates to sit in. We're going to talk about that. Specifically, I want to show you guys how to make a fairly large base that you and your teammates can just sit, chill, like relax. You know what I mean? Just have fun, whatever you want to do. And that can be built in under two seconds. Listen, I'm not playing. I really want to show you guys this base because not only is it actually really solid for the current squad's meta, but it can also be built super, super fast. 
Okay, I'm not gonna tease you anymore. Let's roll the footage and let's talk about why this is the alpha base for chapter two. Okay, so we start off in the middle between four different tiles. Make sure that you angle yourself right in the center for maximum results, okay? Pull out your walls, look directly outwards. Now hold down mouse one or whatever you controller freaks use to place builds and do a 360. Since you are sitting in the center of all four tiles, your builds can make a two by two without even moving. All you did was spin around once and boom, all of your walls were placed, right? Once you get all those walls down, instantly look up and place your floors and then cones right after. I want you to head into creative and try this out for at least 10 to 15 minutes to just get the hang of things. Don't do it right now because I'm still talking, <laughs> but afterwards. Once you have the basics down, my friends, it's really as easy as it looks. It really is. Now, the reason why I wanted to throw this one on the list is for two main reasons. First off, building bases is a lot more common due to the fact that you have to rotate a lot earlier and more frequently. This whole no mobility thing, oh my goodness, has a lot of side effects, doesn't it? I'm not here to argue about not having mobility right now. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible for you to adapt to the current meta. The second point that often gets overlooked is the fact that grenade spam is still a major problem in chapter two. Quite simply, all right, to be real, if you're not building a big enough base to brace the impact of multiple grenades being chucked at you at the same time, oh my goodness and holy moly, you're not gonna survive this meta. You know, I see this building structure as a very quick and very effective way to solve the problems at hand, okay? And because of that, it makes our list as a building technique that you must be using in Fortnite Chapter 2. So while we're on the topic of grenade spam, hmm, I have another building technique that just might come in handy for this. We're going to be taking a look at the reverse stair outside of your base. You know, I really like this one because if you're in a situation that you cannot build a big base to begin with, it provides you a lot of additional protection for not a lot of cost. Let me backtrack just for a little bit, all right? We talked about building a big base to more properly prepare you guys for an explosive spam. But let's just say that you're in a solo game mode or your team doesn't have enough mats. Then you quite frankly just don't have that luxury anymore. Using the reverse stairs, guys, is gonna be your additional protection on a budget. Let me show you how this reverse is used in practice. Oh, wait a minute, I got a phone call coming in. Hold on, who is this? Is this my mom? No, Wh who is this? Oh, wait a minute, it's Clicks. Oh, he's calling me on the phone right now. Hello? What's up, bro? Oh, really? You want us to show a clip of you using the reverse stare? Really? Okay, cool, cool. All right, all right, this is right, you right on time, man. We still good for tomorrow to play? Okay, cool, I'll see you then. Y'all thought Clicks was really on the phone right now. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. But for real, one day he is gonna call me, I guarantee you that. All right, let's roll the footage. So as you guys can see, Clix uses a reverse stare after he hears an opponent pull out an RPG. This is his instant reaction, providing a cheap protection against a single explosive. And it pays dividends, guys. Wow. He would have been blasted if it wasn't for that single stare to protect him. Instead of getting hit for like 100 damage, he's still chilling at the cost of one additional build. Now, in my humble opinion, that's called maximizing your resources. You know, finding the techniques that give you guys the most benefit for the least amount of materials. And since nothing in this game is more important than your HP, I'm going to say that this is a worthwhile strategy. There's also some other benefits of using the reverse stairs, such as creating specific peak angles that are much more safe. But that kind of stuff could have been used before Chapter 2 as well. So my point is, an already good strategy was made a lot better due to the fact that Chapter 2 has a lot more explosives. So go ahead and use this technique, my friends, because Chapter 2 is the time to do it. The final building technique that we're going to be looking at today is the double edit for high ground. This edit is quick and protected, meaning of going for high ground is just that much easier. You know, I know a lot of people who use this technique a lot, and I just wanted to explain why now is the best time to use it. First off, for those of you who do not know what the double edit is, let's roll the footage. Okay, so the main idea here, and I mean right here, is that you're doing a floor and a cone edit, then transitioning that into your 90s. It's basically 90s with a lot of additional protection. If you know how to do that double edit with a little bit of extra practice and muscle memory, you're gonna be able to do this one with no problem. Now, why is this actually more useful in chapter two? Good question, I was getting on that. <laughs> so the reason why you wanna actually be using this more in chapter two is because everyone wants to do side jumps for some reason. You know where you jump to the side of the cone to get a layer up. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but for me personally, when I see someone put a cone up, I expect a side jump. I'm ready to nail anyone who does a side jump, and I'm sure some of your opponents as well. It seems like less and less people are doing the double edit high ground retake, so now is a better time than ever to bring it back. The end goal, my friends, with high ground retakes is to be unpredictable. Actually, being unpredictable is an advantage for basically any game that you can think of. FPS shooters, strategy games, man, even chess. I mean, basically every game out there. 
The high ground retake strategy is no different than it was last season, but I'm putting it on the list because incorporating this into your play style is going to make you more unpredictable and likely to be way more successful. If you're fighting someone and they do the same thing over and over again, you're going to catch on, right? Come on. Surely your opponent must be thinking the same exact thing if you aren't switching it up here and there. So keep it fresh and unpredictable, and you're going to be ready to win every fight you take. All right, so let's review everything we went over today. First, triangular tunnels are your friends in today's meta. Using less materials to go the same distance is crucial to preserve your material count. If you've got the materials, use the two by two base building strategy to make a quick and protected shelter for your teammates, all right? If you don't have that luxury, then simply use the reverse stair to give yourself an added layer of protection. Finally, switch it up a little bit in chapter two by using the double edit for high ground instead of the usual side cone jump. All right, guys, once again, it's the motivation guy. That's right, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you guys. This is your year, man. So don't give up. Don't surrender. Keep getting better. Keep grinding and creative. Make an impact on people that come your way. And I'm telling you, life is going to be so much better, all right? We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to use code PROGUIDES when you make any sort of purchases. You know, it just really helps us out, and we really do appreciate it. Comment down below what you thought about this video and what you would like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and showing ProGuides some love. Hey, we'll see you next time.